This is the inside of one of our WDM components. We are using free space optics. This means the light is bouncing between filters in a zigzag shape. For this to work, we need a very precise alignment of the filters to each other. If you want to find out how we measure this precision, stick around. Before going to the clean room and seeing the actual measurement, first let's have a closer look to the principal setup. Here in this setup, the mirrors, they are representing our filters or our filter cascade. And with the laser beam, you can see how the light is traveling in this zigzag shape. Obviously, when I'm tilting this filter only a little bit, the light is traveling out of the cascade. So this means uh, uh, the optical setup will not work anymore. Now the question is, how can we measure the accuracy of those filters? And uh, for that, let's take a closer look to this uh, principal sketch. So we have a measurement prism. We are coupling a laser light in this prism. And here at this position, there will be the filter. So this means uh, the light is reflected from the filter surface and is going back to a detector. Obviously, if we have a perfect 90 degree angle of the laser beam to the filter surface, we will have the maximum strength or the maximum value on the detector. If we now insert this measurement prism into the filter cascade, so I'm going to the first filter, now we can tilt this prism and we can rotate it and all the data from the detector is stored with the information of the angle. So this means um, by determining the, the maximum value, we know the angular position of this filter. If we now go to the next filter and do the same, and so on and so forth, we have all the information of the four or eight filters, uh, depending on the setup. Okay, enough for theory, let's go down to the clean room. So now we're in the clean room and this is our actual measurement setup. Here on the left, you can see our filter cascade and on the right, we have the measurement prism. And if we now start the software, the prism is inserted or is driving into the filter cascade. And as you can see, it's tilting and rotating and all the values or the strength of the reflected signal is uh, measured in, in this software. Okay, I hope you learned something today. If so, please leave a comment below and see you in one of the next videos. Bye-bye.